Hello, I am MT the Doodle King, and this is a documentary retelling the story of a group of passionate filmmakers and Let's Players that formed 10 years ago called Deep Sheep. Let's waste no time at all and start from the beginning. Chapter 1 Nerf Wars July 31st, 1997. Christopher Allen Cox entered the world and quickly became very interested in filmmaking. October 16th, 2006, at the young age of 9, Chris created Ghost, his first attempt at making a horror film. It starred his best friend at the time, 7-year-old Camden Prisoner. Chris and Camden's parents were friends before they were even born, so they've literally been friends for as long as they can remember. It's amazing, because they're still friends to this day. And on July 13th, 2008, he created his YouTube channel, CA Cox 97 now renamed to just Christopher Cox. Nine months later, on March 24th, 2009, Chris created Alan Todd, which also starred Camden. Alan Todd was a variety show with unique segments and sketches. I would explain the segments, but most of them suck, I don't want to rewatch this series, and there really is only one that matters. Dart Gun Fight! Like most kids from the 90s up until now, Chris and Camden loved playing with Nerf guns. And logically, Christopher decided to combine Nerf with his passion for filmmaking. This is the first example of him making a fight with Nerf guns. After making Terminator Interactive Game, which you can no longer interact with, Chris created Nerf War The Candy Bar, where Chris, his father, and Camden fight over a chocolate treat. This is the video that blew up Chris's channel and is still his most viewed video to this day, standing at 44 million views. This video got a huge response. Chris got a bunch of new fans and people were making response videos, like for example this masterpiece. One thing you made about a candy bar. Chris followed his popularity by creating his greatest series ever, Nerf Gun Reviews. I'm just kidding, we all know his best series is the Walking Dead summary videos. Chris continued to make Nerf videos into the 2010s and this just made him more popular on YouTube. His popularity drew the attention of Alex Hogan, Daniel Graybert, Nathan Lone, Pele Robbie Tiapula, and Spencer Maples. Soon, all seven of these people would meet using the power of gaming! Oh, also, someone named Connor Godfrey, but he's not important yet. Chapter 2! Xbox Live! September 14th, 2010, Halo Reach was released, and around that time Chris bought an Xbox 360 to play it, and made a video announcing his gamer tag to his fanbase. This is how the previously listed people got in contact with Chris from January to February 2011. The order is believed to be Alex, Daniel, Spencer, Robbie, and Nathan. Came to join Xbox Live sometime 2012, I'm really not sure when. April 2nd, 2011. Chris and Alex make their first video together. Well, technically there's one other, but I don't count that one. But this was Chris's first gaming video where he played and commentated with another person. Good boy, good boy, I'll give you a treat later and rub your belly. <laughs> May 9th, 2012, Minecraft came to Xbox. Two days later, the group Rooster Teeth started a survival let's play on this version of the game, where everyone in the video would record their screen using a capture card and the finished video would cut between the different people's perspectives. Chris and his friends were all fans of the series and decided to copy the style, but instead of a fun multiplayer survival series, it would be a battle to the death! We're ready to go, okay? I'm gonna go over the rules. Okay. 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 All through 2012, Minecraft Hunger Games were super popular. And on September 9th, 2012, Chris uploaded Minecraft The Hunger Games number one. This was Chris's first attempt at multi-perspective, and to be honest, it really sucked. Everyone's audio but Chris in his video has that really terrible Xbox Live audio quality. Three different people recorded their screens using cameras, which looks awful. Technically four, but one of them was so bad it just flat out wasn't used. There's no music or fancy effects, way too much boring stuff was left in the video, and it's very rough around the edges. But besides all these handicaps, Chris's fanbase loved it and wanted to see more Minecraft content, and they wouldn't have to wait long for it. Eight days later, Chris released Team Battle, where two teams of four fought in Minecraft. This is the earliest example of Chris creating his own original game in Minecraft, and his soon-to-be obsession with making different classes for said original games. January 21st, 2013. Chris released Minecraft The Hunger Games, number 2. This one has music, sound effects, and was edited in a way that made it seem like it almost has a plot, which made the video twice as enjoyable. Even though Alex's perspective is the worst that it has ever been in this video. You can see his laptop and somebody watching TV in the reflection of his screen. <laughs> Chris was starting to mix his gaming content with his love for storytelling and it was about to get even crazier. March 6th, 2013, a trailer is created for the Ultimate Minecraft Championship. 
A tournament where 16 of Chris's online friends would compete in challenges until it came down to the final two. And from March 13th to May 13th, 12 episodes with a very interesting formula were released. The A plot of each video was the tournament itself, like who would win each round. Then the B plot would be the narrator and his ongoing feud with Fat Albert. Hey, 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 mush mouth. Why did you come after me, Fat Albert? Why did you kill Elmo? Revenge, mush mouth. The most interesting thing in this series is how the people in it started to make their character traits that would later become iconic. Came to being Master Chief that likes pumpkins. This pumpkin gave me inspiration, even though I just placed it. Alex being an Enderman that likes lapis. Look at it! Nathan as the silent but deadly bow wielder. If you don't root for me, I'll shoot you. Daniel as a sneaky conniving alien that likes slime. This, this is the alien cave. And this is my happy dark corner where magic happens. The fact that Robbie sucks. What? And of course, Sean's iconic speeches. I'd like to thank my mama's mama's mama for bringing my mama's mama into this world. And I'd like to thank my mama's papa for bringing my mama into this world. After the tournament was over, Chris still had a craving to make different games in Minecraft and record them with friends. And on June 28th, 2013, Chris released Storm the Castle, another original game he had created. This happened to be on the same world as the Ultimate Minecraft Championship, and him and his friends spent a lot of time just making games together on this world. Around the same time, Camna came up with this idea to have a series with some friends where they build statues of themselves in Minecraft and play games together. And with Chris's itch to make more Minecraft content, combined with Camden's statue series concept, an amazing idea was about to be born. Chapter 3 Season 1 July 15th, 2013, Chris uploads Welcome to Skintown, which was an introduction to a new series. Skintown is a circular collection of statues made for Minecraft skins Chris was good friends with online. The plot of this series was that the members would play games together on this world, and whoever wins gets a crown on their skin and wins a trophy they could put inside their house. The lineup for games in this video are Knock Em Out, Snake Sniper, Dodgeball, Escape the Ravine, and Snowfall. This series was going to be filmed and edited in the multi-perspective style Chris had gotten good at in Hunger Games. And on the next day, July 16th, the first episode, Knock Em Out, was released. It's a game where you're in a giant donut in the sky trying to knock everyone out. Nathan wins this episode, so he gets the crown placed on his head, making him the first ever person to wear it. Uh, I think it's too big. <laughs> now all this is well and good, but there was one thing missing. This group still didn't have a name. Well, three days later, on July 19th, 2013, exactly ten years ago, they announced they would now be known as Deep Sheep. They revealed this in the video Deep Sheep Official Intro, posted to Chris's channel, as well as the brand new Deep Sheep channel, which they created just so no one else could claim it before them. And on August 8th, in response to people in the comments asking to see the inside of everyone's skins, Chris announced House Tour Week, a small series of seven episodes showing off everyone's statues and backyards. These videos are arguably the most iconic of Season 1. This unique skin biome tour format really interested people. Many of the tours actually have more views than the main series episodes. Speaking of the episodes, from September 12th to November 21st, Chris would release 10 more episodes finishing off Season 1. Here are a bunch of great moments from this season. You can jump over four blocks. This is it, this is it, Camden. Can you do it? I can, can do, do it. it. Can you do can. it? Do it. Do it. Do it. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> oh no! Come on, come on, Fudge Pants! No, yeah. that's ridiculous. I need wheat. I need wheat. I need wheat. I need wheat. Great, buddy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Magic mushroom suck. Magic mushroom suck. Magic mushroom suck. Escapees? Nah, yeah. <laughs> Magic mushroom suck. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nathan, how do you get your hair like that? Uh -oh. Guys, come over here, look at his hair! Doesn't it just give him your heart on? <laughs> oh my god, look at them eyebrows! Camden, look at these eyebrows! They're perfect! Oh. That's right, you're scared of me, f <laughs> 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 oh, my God. 
Run! I got you, Daniel. Oh, 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 oh. You killed I me. I have an I played in with my hands behind my back. Throughout the season, there was a lot of rivalries between members that usually culminated in a pet getting murdered and property being destroyed. Starting with Daniel versus Spencer. <laughs> What's he doing with the Heck green no. sheep? Heck no. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> Kevin! No! Kevin. Yeah, the end fudge bad. <laughs> That's for Kevin! Oh my god. Come here, Oh god. What the? Yes, five. That is Spencer, true. what did you do? Spencer! Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. <laughs> but you would know best of all. Oh. Hey, Spencer, you remember when I killed Kevin and turned his room into a grave? Yep. Guess what? It doesn't exist anymore. Fine. Come to Club Alien. We'll just settle our differences. Hey, Vaughn. Screw you, Daniel! Oh, okay. Okay. What? Ah! A sheep is not worth an entire club, Spencer! Oh, no, 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 Spencer, you foul boy, that's for Club Alien! Hey, you. I have one message from Alien Fudge Pants before he died. Soap. Soap. <laughs> what is what? <laughs> <laughs> then there's Robbie versus Alex versus Chris. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh Robbie's, in uh, Robbie's in trouble. Robbie can go to hell. F you, Robbie. I hate you, Robbie. F you, 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 f you. Hey, Christopher, have fun censoring that out, <laughs> Okay. <gasps> What's that? I stole ass. That, that's Alex's son. He hasn't been born yet. I stole it right out of his, uh... Girlfriend's his uterus? Wife. Whoa. What's gonna happen if Alex finds out? I, I don't know. I hope nothing bad. Alex, you might no, you head. might recognize someone who's in prison right now. That's my fucking son. Good job, my Daniel. son. Activate. You get to keep fudge pants. But okay, my son is officially stealing Daniel's mushroom. Okay, Dante, if you do not give back his mushroom, <laughs> you're <laughs> Whoa! Emma. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, it's me, Dante. Dante, uh, get out! Oh God! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah! Take that! Try and go after me! Oh man! Hey, hey, Alex, 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 stop! Hey, Alex, guess what? I killed Dante. In Game of Thrones, he teleported into the arena, and um, he looked at me and he fell right into the lava, and I watched him as he burned to death, that tall, slender black man. Son of a bitch! Why the hell would you do that? If I ever, ever get a plane ticket, I'm gonna fly out there, I'm gonna get my shitty ass guitar that I don't even know how to fucking play. I'm gonna throw it at your damn pee, okay? I'm gonna throw this shit at your damn pee. And finally, there's Camden and his pet pig, Porkers. Alright, what the heck? There's a pig down here. Why is there a pig down here? There's a pig underwater. Is this your pet? Yes, I shall name him Porkers. <laughs> Let me get a final he... shot of you and Porkers. I have new pet. His name is Parkers, and, um, he, I, I trapped him in his ice so he could freeze and live forever. Hey Camden, uh, I'm just gonna let you know what? something. I'm really hungry, and I know where to get some food. Like, oh no, 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 no. So, just gonna... No, don't worry about it, don't worry. Um, oh my... Never mind, never mind, everything's fine, everything's fine. Uh, I changed my mind. All I wanted was for you to die. Camden, I gotta tell you something. Camden, <laughs> Camden, I gotta tell you something. What? I killed Porkers. What? Oh boy. Are you If it makes you feel any better, I ate his meat. Uh, I yeah, take that as a cue to start running now. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna fuck you so hard in your fucking ass. You're not gonna see for the next two fucking weeks, you fucking alien fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the last episode, there was a teaser for season two coming in 2014. I mean, 2015. 2016?
2000 never. It's never coming out. It's too hard to make season two. It's too much work. They're never going to do it. It's never going to happen. It's not, ha it's not happening. Never, ever. On December 22nd, Chris made an update video announcing he was going to be meeting Alex in real life soon, and that Deep Sheep has a new series coming up called Deep Sheep Plays, where they just play whatever games they want to in the same multi-perspective format they had become known for. Six days later, Chris went to Tennessee to meet Alex, making it the first official Deep Sheep meetup. No, Chris and Spencer with Liberation does not count, because it was filmed before they were an official group. Together, Alex and Chris filmed Sia Cox 97 vs. Crazy Jack 28, widely regarded by modern scholars as the first ever Deep Sheep short film. This is for Dante, you son of a bitch! This entire chapter has been exclusively in 2013, and I'm glad that I get to end it off with a different year, because on February 14th, 2014, the highly anticipated Hunger Games No. 3 was released. An entire year before this video came out, while Chris was still editing Hunger Games No. 2, he decided that Hunger Games 3 would be snow-themed, so over the next year, he got his friends and fans online to cover the entire world with snow and ice manually. Because this took a very long time, it became the most anticipated Hunger Games out of the trilogy. I remember when the first teaser came out showing off the map, I was so hyped. And then, when the first trailer came out, I was even more hyped. Was all this hype worth it? Absolutely! This is one of the best videos this group has ever produced, and without a doubt, the best video in this era. The drama and plot twists are so insane, my tiny little teenage mind was being blown every few minutes. And the ending is just perfect. I won't spoil who wins, but I think you'll agree it's the only person that deserved it. This video is the end of an era for a couple of big reasons. As far as I could tell, this is the last big video the group did on the Xbox 360 version of Minecraft. This is the last time that Alex's footage was recorded in 4x3 480p, the last time Cameron recorded his screen with his camera, and the last time everyone's audio is in the Xbox Live quality. A lot of things were about to change, and the future seemed very bright. Chapter 4, New Content On the exact same day Hunger Games 3 was released, the first ever Deep Sheep Plays came out on Camden's channel. Technically there was an older one on Spencer's channel, but it got taken down for being trash. July 22nd. The Deep Sheep 1 year anniversary livestream came out, making it the first original video uploaded on the Deep Sheep channel. All seven members got on the Deep Sheep world to play games, as well as Left 4 Dead and Halo Reach with the fans. At around this time, Deep Sheet developed a bit of a group dream. They decided when they grow up, they all want to move to California and become a filmmaking company. Deep Sheep is my ideal future. It's all of us working together, creating a company together, and making videos together. That's it. This became their goal for the future and would change their attitude on content moving forward. August 4th. Chris uploaded a video of him and Spencer playing Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Spencer had his face scanned into the game, which resulted in his bastardization of God's Law. What the hell are you? I- <laughs> To add insult to injury, Spencer's voice was starting to crack for the first time, making the whole thing even more hilarious. <laughs> even though they technically wouldn't start this series until over a year later, this is the first ever Deep Sheep mini plays, which is the same thing as a regular Deep Sheep plays with just two people. July 1st, 2015, Late Night with Deep Sheep number one is released. This was the group's podcast where everyone was allowed to talk about whatever topic they wanted to. These podcasts plus Deep Sheep Plays would become the group's main source of content for years to come. May 8th, 2015. Chris makes an announcement video saying he's no longer going to be making Nerf videos, and is soon moving to California to pursue his dream of being a filmmaker. Even though he was quitting Nerf, Chris is the kind of person that always goes out with a bang, so he created the final 10 things you should never do in a Nerf war, a third part of his most popular Nerf series. The last two minutes of this video give a perfect ending to the last seven years of Nerf content. I really consider this the perfect finale. I wouldn't change a thing about it. And on August 15th, 2015, Chris officially moved into his new apartment. March 2nd, 2016. Robbie and Spencer make an update video talking about all the content that Deep Sheep has been making over the past year. In this video, they mentioned something the group has been working on. And also, we're going to be working on a very secret project that all of you can fight about in the comments below. Yeah, so go do that. What could this project be? It's gotta be big, right? It's gotta be season two! Surely that's what it is! Season two is in the works! It's happening! For real! May 6, 2016! Basically, guys, I'm leaving Deep Sheep. 
Daniel was going to join the military and wouldn't be able to follow the group's dream to become a filmmaking company. And on May 29th, 2016, the group made a goodbye video in the form of a late night with Deep Sheep. In this, they talked about the scrapped plans for season 2 and that it will probably never come out. This was the moment when the fans accepted there would never be a season 2. Now the last thing I want to mention about Daniel is something I haven't really talked about this entire time. Chris created a series called Spartan Super Soldier. It was a Halo Reach Machinima series about a young Spartan going to war and becoming a great leader. Fun fact, this is actually how Chris met Nathan. The first episode was released on April 8th, 2012, and the reason I didn't mention it before is because it basically had nothing to do with Season 1, and the reason I'm mentioning it now is because on June 21st, 2016, Episode 8 came out, and there was a big emphasis on Daniel's character. This was a little over a month after Daniel had left the group, and it felt like a send-off to him as he was going on his own path. After this episode, Chris would make no more episodes of Spartan Super Soldier because he had to focus on film school. So this was the last episode of the series. Daniel had to lead the group to go to the military and Chris had to stop Spartan Super Soldier to go off to college. The fans were obviously sad to see these things happen, but the thing is, all of these things had to happen. Especially for everything great that's coming in part 2.